I didn't take a video of before I started this process, but I do have a photograph I'll put up here. And um, basically what I did was, there's a whole bunch of, there's a log over on that one, but all these, um, they're beauty berries and grapevines and a whole bunch of Biden's Alba. And I want these uh, oak leaf hollies to grow here. So I just mowed down that massive area, especially in the middle of these two on the right. Um, and I'm, I've got to get the clippers out to uh, tackle this big beauty berry um, in the middle, behind the middle bush. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to plant these in holes over there. And then um, I'm going to leave some of that there just because I still want to block the neighbor's house until these grow in. So Maui's helping me dig. And, um, so you know what, I have a bucket over here, but I just wanted to show you, these are the beauty berries that are gonna have to come out. And uh, I really need to get rid of these um, grapevines because I know they will tangle up into the trees like you wouldn't believe. And the other thing I wanted to show you is these are the Biden's Alva and it's well over my head. So these are like six feet tall, at least. And look how thick mangled mess this is um, because the grapevines climb over the beauty berries and then just make this big nasty mess. And then you get grasses and other weeds in here. This one doesn't look the best shape, but they didn't have much of a variety. So I'm gonna have to cut this piece off. Maybe I can propagate it. That one looks pretty with the new growth in there. And so what I'm gonna do is take this bucket from the one that I already planted in there and see if it fits in the hole. And I think I need to dig a little deeper. <laughs> Although, you know what, these aren't full up all the way. Um, but still, it's not even close, so I'm gonna have to dig more. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. And um, I also needed to make sure I dug a little wider because there are lots of roots or roots in the south. Um, and uh, I just wanna make sure that there's no competition for water and nutrients. Not that this soil is very nutrient, but if it can grow trees that big, there's gotta be some nutrients in the soil. So I just wiggled it out a little bit and flipped it over and it came out. Uh, the next thing is this doesn't look very root bound. Those uh, boxwoods had roots coming out of the bottom for days. And actually I found some tags inside that said they were from 2020 and the beginning of 2020. So that was almost, you know, two and a half years ago. But anyway, I'm going to place this in here and then I'm going to position it to make sure that I have uh, a nice view in the front. And so these grow eight foot round, so I made sure to put it like four feet from the fence over there. All right, so maybe I dug it a little too deep. I think uh, I'm gonna put the green side in the front, but um, I'm gonna take it out for a second, just throw it, toss a little bit more dirt in, and then put it back so that it's above grade. All right, that looks better, and I'll just level off the soil that I dug out. I had to bust out the handy-dandy chainsaw uh, because this is a monstrosity, and that's the only way I'm going to be able to get through it. All right, so when you have the right tools, things get a lot easier, <laughs> like mowing this with the lawnmower. I now have a bush hog, but... The lawnmower worked fine. It was really a lot of just grass and weeds. But this one was the bad one. So now I have to try to pull all this out. We'll be right back. Well, this is a big part of that monstrosity over here. And then I just have to chainsaw a little bit more and then get the lawnmower up on top of this. And then I'll be able to plant this beauty. And there it is. I didn't water it yet. There's the first one by Maui. This is the second one, and there's the third one. And this is the pile of jungle. 
And so those will grow eight feet around. You can't even get it in the view of the camera. And supposedly 12 feet to 14 feet tall. Probably, I don't know. I would, they say columnar, but maybe pyramidal, but I'm thinking more gumdrop. Uh, we'll see. And so here you can see a better view. And uh, I'll trim them up so they uh, try to stay uh, columnar. Because I really want that evergreen, say, Christmas tree look. All right, so here it is, almost complete. I have to take these weeds out and I have to, uh, I wanna clear out the area around it and then um, put some mulch down. And I'm thinking over there, getting a couple more panels, maybe three more panels of fencing, maybe four, and then getting some Arizona cypress and putting that in there. But I have to check the height. I mean, that's pretty high. I don't know how high that is, but it's maybe 35, 40 feet. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, electric wires. I think it's kind of funny. I was just uh, digging dirt up to plant my roses and uh, I found a piece of pizza in the dirt pile. So I wonder who did that, Maui? Who did it, Maui? Who put pizza in the dirt pile? Not you, not you. All in all, I love this. And I know you have to be patient, but it just seems like I want them to grow in already because now I see that neighbor's house more than I did before, which I really, the goal was to get it to be less, but ultimately it will be. So I uh, hope you like this project. I'll show it, uh, show you the final version once I get the mulch put down.